another wonderful rainy day in Washington. <laughs> Yesterday was 80 something and today is probably 50 and it's just pouring. Ah, uh, <laughs> gotta love it. Ah, oh, jeez, but you know what? I got undercover area now, I got lights, I got tools, and uh, we got a 240 to build. Oh, there's a GoPro in the way. So, there's been a few things bugging me lately, personally, with myself. Um, I've been crapping out the quality, I haven't been doing great with the filming, I haven't been doing great with the editing, uh, I've been letting some things slide on the car, the nut and bolt check, um, going over a couple things. I didn't do half of what I wanted, and I just went out and drove that thing. Tension rod brackets falling off, no idea about it. Uh, just, you know, the axle bolts I found, luckily, when I was fixing the exhaust. But I would have went out there with loose axle bolts if I hadn't have done the exhaust. So, there's just a bunch of little stuff that I really want to stop letting things slip and slide. And I want to go back to how I used to try and, you know, one-up myself constantly and try to, instead of trying to one-up somebody else. I hate trying to outdo other people, I like trying to outdo myself. So, the throttle cable bracket last night wasn't perfect. 98% perfect. It bugged me all night. Now, let's see. You want to focus here, buddy? I made some aluminum spacers. I ground down the heads of these bolts so I could actually get the right fit that I wanted. So the throttle cable bracket would actually screw in and tighten down correctly. Everything's nice and tight. There's no wiggle. There's no jiggle. It opens all the way. I'm not going to go through checking full throttle again with you because I checked it with my old lady. Gail's the best. All I have to do is say, will you help me? She helps me. So Today, focus time. Focus, focus, focus. As usual, the biggest shout out to Officer Dan and the boys over there at GK Tech. It was like two days to get these. It's just amazing, even during a pandemic. I just love it. So, the alternator's on. I'm hoping to get some heat tape today. Amazon says so, which means I can start fixing the intake back up. I got new couplers for everything. So we're going to do new couplers and heat tape. That being said, I planned today out for the derail oil cooler. For the power steering, I mean. Uh, fixing the front bumper and getting the old tie rods off and the new tie rods sized back up and back on so I can make an alignment in the middle of the week. Plans. Now. So let's get you on my head and let's also knock throw in the excessive uh, heat shield. Uh, two bolts. We'll do that first. So let's get you on my head real fast. I love editing magic. Maybe I should have test fit this off the camera because that would have been editing magic. Uh, it looks like I just want this to go down behind. Not in front of that line, behind it. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Go excessive, you guys rule. Well, look at that. Hmm. Should I have peeled that first? I'll feel stupid. Ow. Ow. Oh. Come on. Don't do me dirty. Maybe I should have taken that off and peeled it first. Oh, hey. Two layers. I think if I would have done that, though, it would have scratched it. Holy shiny. You know what, even though I said everything is supposed to be perfect, that little piece of plastic stay in there. You'll keep it protected. Something like that, right? Scratch my nose. Uh, I need this back. Hmm. Taking that bolt off wasn't the smartest thing to do, was it? I wonder if I'm actually going to be able to get this back on. This is probably just making for great content, isn't it? 
There goes Duke barking. Absolutely fantastic content. Fan freaking fantastic. Now let's put this back on. No, I'm not even gonna bother with the GoPro and trying to get how pretty this is, but it's, look at that. That, would you just look at it? It's beautiful. It fits fantastic. It actually, oops, actually cleared the stupid V-band that I have back here, which is cool. Everything is just perfect. The ever slightest clearance. Same with my turbo, of course. Beautiful. So, let's get you to focus, as usual. Shout out to Excessive for that. Uh, I'm thinking now we do the tie rods. That's great. The throttle cable bracket's great. Oh, I still have a GoPro on my head. God, I gotta remember to take that thing off. But, oh, hey, I left this down here. Let's get you guys set up, actually. The G7 is still going, so you can get a nice look at this inner tie rod movement real quick. That's just inner tie rod on the driver's side. <laughs> yeah, so. GK Tech M14. These are the nice. Ooh. Ta-da. Very long thread. They're seriously like as thick as my finger is, which is cool. Cool. Try and bend them a little bit less. And oh, you know what would be funny? I actually haven't opened this box yet. I'll laugh so hard if these aren't <laughs> outers. Eh, I guess it wouldn't be the end of the world because 90, here we go, 99% sure these are brand new. So I could use those, but I would really like to use those as spares for on the track. Up. Oh. It says Diff Tech tie rods, factory style, for. Where did I just put my knife? S14, 240SX, which makes them M14. Let's see. Let's see if you'll focus. Come on, buddy. You could do it. You could do it. Oh, it's not going to focus, but nice stout. Nice cool boots. Oh, and before we jump into taking those off, on a time lapse, real quick. Always remember that is wiring. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, might need that too, just in case. But shock boots make the best inner tie rod boots, so you don't have. Stuff like that. Who likes two separate pieces? Not me. Not me. So get on this now and then we'll do the power steering afterwards because I'm assuming I'll leave power steering fluid. I don't want to lay down in the puddle that's going to make. Look it, I thought ahead. Jeez, it's raining hard. Uh, okay, which one was it? Oh, this one. It literally has no resistance. This one wasn't so bad. You can't, oh, well, you can kind of move it. The outers are great. Oh, got myself pretty good there. So, we'll be keeping these as spares. 
But what I really wanted to mention real fast before I went about putting this together was usually GK techs are meant to be cut. And it actually looks like I had GK techs on there to begin with. Or uh, those might just be OEM S14s. But what's rad about this is I'm going to set you guys up with the G7 real fast. And we'll go ahead and thread these on. These outers are pretty rad. They're non greasable, but they're a super stout shank, which I'm pretty stoked about. Go ahead and thread this together. And. Roughly match where the old one was. And this is what I wanted to show you guys is my favorite part. Usually with GK Tech, they are cut to fit. But with how long my lowers are and everything, it threads together and is the same exact length. Let's see. Oh, if anything, I'm a little long still. So, that's hilarious. Oh, damn. Okay, let's take it back apart and put the boots on and then put it all back together. Cleaning up my mess here. We got some spares now. Where did I just put my flashlight? Hmm, aha. Nice, beautiful tire rods. Let's see if this thing is going to focus. Come on, juice. I use cotter pins. The previous owner didn't, but whatever. Uh, a lot of people always wonder why I use shock things. The ends look like crap, but everything is so long. It makes it look way better, and it fits onto the rack super easy. Nice zip tie down there. All good. The other side is all lit up because I was trying to be all fancy with some backlighting. Same, same. Tie rods knocked out. No more play. And like I said, <laughs> this one is... It's toast. It's literally... For spares, that's not bad. Be able to keep those in case they go off track. Tandem smack into someone. Ooh, I noticed a little crack in my D-Max over on my front. A little bit of fiberglass work I'm thinking in the next video or two. Bumper for sure in the back. I was eating, so I probably have food stuck in my teeth, which sucks. But I've been thinking now that the tie rods are done. We start on this fella, which I don't know if you guys have ever seen how cute and tiny a derail oil cooler is when you buy the mini one. I love this. This is rad. And they also give you some mounts, a little bit extra hose, hose clamps. I'm looking at it. I'm thinking I'm gonna actually mount it to the Sylvia headlight bracket because it has a, an existing hole there. So that works. That works. But we're gonna have to get this to there. So from there to there there to there and yeah let's do all that stuff Man, that was a pain in the butt. <laughs> the hoses they provide is a little bit too small, but I guess it's just for a really tight fit. Really nice stainless hose clamps though. And now I cannot wait to get this chopped back down. Actually, I'll probably just cope them up, chop the edges off that pipe, and then put it back on. And I might do some little fancy stuff on the corners, but we now have 
a dedicated power steering cooler, which I'm really stoked about. But while I was away, uh, I knocked some things out. I had to run away and grab some groceries, some random stuff, coffee, obviously. And some more goodies came. It wasn't everything I was hoping for, just some heat wrapping and stuff, heat blankets and some other things. I noticed I have a couple other odds and ends, so I want to finish the video out here with a thank you to all the subscribers, all the likes, the comments lately, and then we're going to go ahead and time lapse it out with a little bit of music and throw them back on the cold side over here and prettying it up a little bit.